Hannah Potts and two others are being charged with false informing after Potts went missing over the weekend. The Gibson County prosecutor says Potts created a hoax and that doing so put people at risk and tied up law enforcement. Eyewitness News spoke with Potts' sister today, who was outraged at what Potts did to write a novel. Brittany Schottemann is the sister of Hannah Potts. She says she doesn't know when she'll be willing to talk to Potts again. She says her 23-year-old sister went to a barn near the family's home. She says she then was nowhere to be found. The only trace of Potts was an alarming Facebook Live talking about being abducted and her alleged abductor. She had to a black man in a car. Hannah Potts was found safe on Sunday. Family members say they still haven't heard from her. The detective uh, basically told my mom that Hannah claimed that she did it because she was working on a novel and was researching for this novel and she was playing it all out. Potts' sister says she hopes strangers were not targeted during the investigation. I she tells Eyewitness News Hannah Potts' twin sister, Lauren Potts, is receiving backlash after making a missing person flyer when the family and investigators were trying to hunt down her sister. Shoneman says she hope a lesson has been learned. She needs man hours from the police and resources that could have been used for uh, an actual missing person. In addition to Hannah Potts, two others, Joshua Thomas and uh, Maria Hopper, are accused of hiding Potts and lying to law enforcement.